Russia has leveled new accusations against Ukraine, claiming its forces have escalated attacks on Russian civilians and infrastructure along the border. Moscow alleges a campaign of terror targeting schools, hospitals and residential areas with shelling and UAV strikes, underscoring an uptick in violence as the war reaches deeper into Russian territory. According to Russian officials, September alone saw 8,254 Ukrainian artillery rounds, missiles and UAV attacks hit towns across the Belgorod, Kursk, Zaporozhye and Kherson regions with catastrophic impact. Moscow claims these attacks left 511 civilians injured or killed, with 58 dead, including three children and 453 others wounded. Russian authorities report that Ukrainian forces specifically targeted civilian zones, including densely populated areas in Belgorod, Shebekino, Donetsk and Gorlovka. Among the most severe incidents was a direct strike on a Belgorod kindergarten on September 2nd, reducing the building to rubble. On September 4th, a crowded marketplace in Donetsk's Kirovsky district was shelled, resulting in four civilian deaths, including two children and severely injuring 13 others. In Gorlovka, a children's hospital took heavy damage on September 7th when Ukrainian forces allegedly used cluster munitions, leaving a teenage girl and five others injured. Moscow highlights Ukraine's extensive use of NATO-supplied drones, artillery and rocket systems, which it claims are primarily responsible for civilian casualties. Officials note that first-person view FPV drones, equipped with advanced Western vision technology, now play a central role in Ukrainian operations. Russian sources allege that these drones allow Ukrainian forces to deliberately select civilian targets, reportedly accounting for one-third of all civilian deaths in September. On September 10th, one FPV drone strike targeted an apartment building in Romenskoy, Moscow region, killing a 46-year-old woman and injuring three others. In Belgorod, an intense drone assault on September 18th struck multiple civilian structures, including a bus and a school, leaving 15 injured and killing a 73-year-old woman in her home. Moscow asserts that Western countries, through their military aid, are effectively enabling these attacks. The onset of the Russian school year on September 1st marked a concerning surge in violence, with schools and hospitals reportedly under constant threat. Russian officials say that Ukrainian forces targeted multiple education facilities, displacing over 200,000 students to remote learning due to security risks. In addition to education facilities, the region's energy infrastructure faced frequent attacks. On several occasions, Ukrainian forces targeted substations near the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, risking a nuclear incident. The drone and artillery assaults reportedly destabilized power supplies not only for Russian civilians, but also for the broader region. Russian authorities accuse Ukraine of deploying cluster munitions across Belgorod, Donetsk and Luhansk regions, describing them as an indiscriminate means of mining public spaces. On September 16th, Ukraine allegedly fired cluster munitions into Svatovo, injuring 12, including a 13-year-old girl, and damaging a kindergarten and nearby homes. The repeated use of cluster weapons, Russia contends, endangers not only Russian civilians, but also communities throughout the conflict zone. In Gorlovka, 
Ukrainian forces allegedly carried out repeated assaults on civilian infrastructure throughout September. The central, Nikitovsky and Kalininsky districts were struck on September 20th with 29 artillery rounds, killing one woman and wounding 13 others, including four children. Several blocks of flats, single-family homes and a grocery shop suffered heavy damage. The town's firefighting teams also reportedly became targets, with Ukrainian forces deploying UAVs against emergency personnel responding to fires caused by shelling. On September 20th, an FPV drone attack on Gorlovka's central district killed two civilians in a cargo truck, one of whom was burned alive when the vehicle was struck. With attacks reportedly extending into Moscow, Tula and Kaluga regions, Russian authorities warn of heightened security risks in previously unaffected areas. Energy facilities and gas pipelines supplying the Zaporozhia nuclear plant have been under particular threat, sparking new fears over potential radiological consequences. Russia suggests it may amend its nuclear deterrence policies to account for these heightened UAV and artillery threats. Russian officials have turned to the international community, urging global organizations to investigate what they describe as war crimes committed by Ukrainian forces against Russian civilians. Moscow argues that Western governments, by continuing to supply arms to Ukraine, are complicit in these alleged violations of international humanitarian law. Russia's foreign ministry has reiterated calls for Western nations to reconsider their aid policies, contending that the provision of advanced weapons is facilitating attacks on civilians. Russia maintains that its commitment to protecting its citizens remains steadfast, but warns that ongoing support for Ukraine risks further civilian bloodshed and the destabilization of Europe's eastern border. <laughs>